Hello everybody and welcome to another video for example 10. So today we are going to write an image in English, Arabic and Farsi, different languages. I'm going to use Pilo, BD and Arabic Reshaper. Let's start. So we have this uh, directory here. We have one image, this one, beautiful image. We want to write on it in different languages uh, and have a high quality of writing and also image as well. We need to have uh, the font files for English and also for Arabic or Farsi. You guys can easily download them. Just type the font name and TTF point ttf which is the uh, the format and then you guys easily download from google that, that's it very easily available okay let's save our file first example 10 pi Okay, so before starting, I'm gonna just type here what we need. We need uh, in the folder that we have uh, this one, we need uh, English font with TTF format, and also we need Arabic or Farsi font. Uh, or Farsi font again the format is TTF you can easily download them and have in your directory then from pill which is pillow import mage image font and image draw so in order to uh, install pillow you need to go to the cmd command prompt and do pip install pillow if you go to my video example one i have explained how to do that but let me do it right here for you cmd your command prompt is open here so you need to change the directory I have made a file and pip install pip install I have this in uh, an example one tutorial you can see that so by running this I'm gonna get right here Python directory that I need to install. So cd space. I change the directory. Pip install pillow. I have already. I have already in my computer installed. So you guys can get that easily. Let's back to work. So we imported pillow, then the text that we want to show up in the in, on the image. Like have a nice day. Then image 
I'm going to open image, image dot open. Uh, wait, our image name was uh, image one dot gpg, which is here. Okay. And then we want to define the font image font dot to type then you have to write the image uh, the font file name you had in your directory the ttf and then size font size i'm gonna put here like 200 or a lot because my my image is a little bit big and uh, the what i'm gonna do i'm gonna define image draw dot draw image so i'm saying i'm going to write in that image so d dot uh multi-line multi-line text the reason i'm doing multi-line because sometimes you have like two or three lines here so you want to be covered as well so right the first thing is here you're gonna write the uh, uh, the coordinate of the the location that you want to uh, your text be uh, written on the image so I'm saying like 2000 and like 400 so X and Y and then text itself and then font which is font we already defined it and the fill fill in fact uh, <coughs> is the font color and then spacing uh, in case we have like two line or three line or more and align so I'm gonna write in English first so put left and then just we need to save our image so I'm saving the image with the name of that text right there plus in point PNG okay let's check our code and make sure everything works so from pull text image found so I believe it's fine and uh, it should work I'm just gonna run and you guys can see what's happening there so let me run have a nice day and this one run it okay you got the file with uh, image with name have a nice day let's open it yeah we got it by changing that location you can do you can move it wherever you want and let's do it like two or three line you guys know how to do it don't you perfect good one and 
this is the way how you have like text two lines because I think the name is the problem let's put it as image 2 yeah have a nice day have a good one let me stay here so you guys learn how to do it but let's put an arabic word here see if it's still working or not like uh, this is uh salam alaikum I guess. yeah okay. Uh. okay let's run it and see image Let's make it a, again text. So we got it. Let's see what is inside. You know, <laughs> we got only this because Python is not supporting it. So we need to do some work here. Let's do it. So we need to import Arabic reshaper and also we need to import PD. Let's import them. Import Arabic reshaper. So remember to install go to pip uh, go to uh, command prompt pip install arabic reshaper right here just i have already so you just typed her and you are done and also uh, we need from bd dot algorithm import get display so in order to pip install this library uh, you need to pip install python bd Python B. Yeah. Yeah, right here. Python B. So we have that. we have to do some work with this text right here. We need to reshape text. And reshape it. X is and then we have a cliche per the tree shape and then text after that we need to do bd text how do it display to shape that text text and then everything is uh, we, we're gonna change the uh, font to Sahel I guess Sahel which is Arabic or Farsi font and then uh, right here Text. That was all. So let's make. We already have. I want to make a little bit change. Mm. 
Yeah, I just started that one too. Okay, let's run it and see what we got. Okay, here it is. Yeah, everyone, yep, we got it. So if you want to change the location, uh, let's put like 600 here, 2500 here, and then you know, yeah, you move it that way. You want it? Yeah, it comes to the center. It's better now. So with that, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and learn a little bit and if you like it please subscribe thank you very much bye bye